Rainbow Mountain of Peru. The Rainbow Mountain is one of the most beautiful and beautifully hidden treasures of Peru. It is located in the Wilconeth Mountain Range, nestled in the Great Andes Mountains, and has an elevation of 6,384 meters. Asangue is a mountain of the Vilcanota Mountain Range. It is considered the most sacred of the whole region. The Quechua-speaking population of Peru revere it as one of the most significant deities. As the glaciers and snow of the high peaks slowly melt, they form rivers, sending waters to the villages below. Water means life. Therefore, these mountains are the givers and origins of life. Apu means a natural deity or spirit of the mountains. Pinaconca, also known as the Mountain of Seven Colors, or simply Rainbow Mountain, was discovered when the snow covering melted, revealing the natural beauty of the rock beneath. It was formed by weathering, environmental conditions, and sedimentary deposits over time. The mountain's unique mineralogy created a marbling effect with layered hues of gold, lavender, red, and turquoise. Seeing the painted mountains is truly a unique experience. Along the way, you will see the Quechua people that are believed to be direct descendants of the Incas. These people continue to live as their ancestors had centuries ago, with very few influences from the modern world. The people of this region raise alpacas and llamas using every part of the animal to which enables them to survive in the harsh climate. The wool is used for clothes, hides are used for sandals, and the meat is eaten. Also, their feces are used for fuel and fertilizer. A trip to Asangi is one of those special experiences where you really feel as though you are in the presence of the mountain gods or apus. In May, people bring offerings in return for continued prosperity. According to folklore, Asangi has a daughter who takes care of the llamas and the alpacas of the world. She allowed them to come forth from the springs and lakes of Asangi in order to serve the humans. In turn, Asangi insists that these animals be treated like humans rather than animals. Before you start your journey, you should give an offering to Asangi and ask him to protect you on your travels. The offering involves collecting sweets and coca leaves. Each person takes four coca leaves and blows on them in the direction of each mountain peak while thinking good thoughts. The leaves are then collected with other offerings and then set on fire. If they burn well, Asangi has blessed you. If it doesn't, you're on your own. Please subscribe to my YouTube page for more fun videos. Scuba Jack. Come on everybody and follow me. From the beach to the cold or in the sea. It's time for learning, it's time for fun. It's a great adventure for everyone. Come on everybody and follow me. Jump and swim out to the bottom of the sea. It's time for adventure, fun and learning. It's Miss Beth from the Adventures of Scuba Jack. Please comment below and give us a thumbs up if you liked our video with Activity Book. See you soon.